Hello and welcome back guys. So in this particular session, what I'll be doing is I'll be showing you how to uh, get exponential moving average. Okay. So first thing that we need to that we need is your closing price and then your date. Okay. So basically what we do is we sort the date out. So basically the date was in from today and then uh, earlier date, right? So what I did was earlier date to today. Okay. So I sort it in that way. So by um, previous day to today to till today okay because see uh when you, whenever we are talking about exponential moving average so we are talking about past data right so we need to put the past date in the front okay so the formula that we will be using mainly is that this particular formula which is basically close minus previous exponential moving average into multiplier will be this and the multiplier also has a specific formula which is basically 2 divided by days plus 1 okay so our uh, days for 9 days exponential moving average is 9 12 day exponential moving average day is 12 26 day exponential moving average is 26 okay so multiplier plus previous exponential moving average okay so similarly in this case so in this particular case what we do is basically uh, we won't have an exponential moving average in the first day so what we'll do is we'll move to uh, row number 13 because that, that's our 12th day right because our first thing is header that's why uh, so what we do is average av average so if we use Excel, anything, I'm just using Google Sheets for now. So average, that's our average for the day. And then in the next day, so this will be our exponential moving average, okay? Because we won't have the data in the beginning, right? In the beginning, we don't have the data. So basically what we'll do is in the next day, we will basically uh, open bracket, double open bracket, and then your closing price minus your uh, this price so your differential figure is there into multiplier okay so 12 day multiplier is 15.38 percentage right so i will uh, lock that particular cell plus your remaining balance is that okay so how did we get this particular balance is basically 2 divided by 12 plus 1 similarly for this 2 divided by 9 plus one Ooh, I had made a mistake over there right and then over here okay 2 divided by 26 plus 1 okay so this is how we get our multipliers okay so it will be in a decreasing order and because the latest data will be assigned more weight right so similarly all we can do is just fill handle use the fill handle and fill all of them so similarly in this case what we do is uh, closing minus previous exponential moving average which is c14 into our multiplier plus our uh, previous exponential moving average okay so similarly for 26 what we do is let's go to 27th row and then let's do a simple average first of all because we don't have exponential moving average in the first day right so we will just have to assume this to be a simple moving average for the 27th day okay so again we'll use the same formula double open bracket uh, closing price minus our previous exponential moving average close your bracket into our multiplier for 26 days this seven point something so I'll just lock this particular cell after that uh, plus so if I don't put a dollar dollar in front of uh, key and three, what will happen is that it will just it will reference the column itself. Okay, so that way our data will be uh, data won't be available. Okay, so this is called absolute referencing as well. So just referencing to that particular cell itself. All you need to do is just add a dollar towards the front. Okay, so after that we have got our. Uh, exponential moving average for 26 day as well right so similarly in this case we are doing the same thing in the other case as well it's just doing the same thing right all we did was fill handle just used fill handle and then uh, pushed it down right so for MACD what is MACD MACD is basically nothing else but 26 day exponential moving average minus 
12 day moving average minus 26 day moving average okay so it's just a differential figure between these two from 12 minus 26 day exponential moving average okay so in that way our uh, data has been uh, retrieved right okay 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 yeah, what i have done is that uh, i should not have used this you know why because our closing figure is this all right it's not c it's b okay Similarly, all I have to do is, okay, that's not working. That means let's delete it first of all, and then we'll change it. Now we will do that. Now let's see what's happening. Okay, this minus that and then that, okay. Now it's back good, okay. So uh, see what I had done was I had uh, subtracted 383 minus that, okay. That's not how it is done because our closing price is in uh, column number B, okay. So as you can see, we will get a 10.12 something something figure, differential figure. That's our MACD line. So I'll show it to you in the chart as well. So see over here, 10.0744, uh, uh, right? So even though it's not exactly the same, but it's roughly there, right? 10.1264 uh, something something, right? So similarly, what's our uh, signal line? Signal line is basically nothing else, but it's a nine day average okay it's a nine day exponential moving average of macd line okay so it's not a nine day exponential moving average of last transaction price but of the macd line itself so we will go nine cells below one two three four five six seven eight nine right so on this first day again we won't have the exponential moving average we'll just use a simple moving average let's bring an average as always right and then after that in this particular case what we do is we won't use a closing price okay so we will use the MACD's uh, closing price closing thingy okay so not the closing price but MACD's closing value minus your uh, this value yesterday's figure and then into your multiplier what's our multiplier 20% right let's lock it as well and then plus our remaining balance is nothing else but the figure from yesterday right so that's our signal line see as you can see it's 10.79 right so in our uh, thing as well you can see 10.74 right it's near to 74 this one is a bit more exact kind of thing this one is near to 10.12 right so it's near to 10.07 okay so and that's how we basically uh, do all those things so otherwise what I could what I could do is that I could show you if my calculations are right or not uh, what I'll do is since I don't have the full data right now so what I could do is I could just use the indicator MSCD uh, let's just use moving average right uh, what I'll do is 12 day moving average 12 12 12 input. 12 okay what's our uh, thing uh, 426.0833 426.0833 426.0833 yeah that's our date right see our uh, next thing will be our uh, MACD line over here I mean uh, exponential moving average 2012 day is for the next day is 423.762 right so if you check over here it will be around there 426.73 so that's just rounded off figure right 427 okay that's a rounded off figure so similarly if I just enter the same thing again so I'm just che che checking my calculations, okay? So 26 exponential moving average. So if in this day, 392.6923, 392.693, right? So 394.04, 394.04, it's roughly near there, right? So yeah, this is how we basically do these things, okay? So I'll just uh, fill it down as well. Mm, and then, this is our signal line. So what is histogram? So you can see a histogram over there as well. There is three component, right? So it's MACD line, signal line, and then histogram. 
So what is histogram? It's nothing else but a difference between MACD line and your this line, okay? So and signal line, okay? That's just how uh, thing. So it's minus zero point six eight eight something something, right? So minus zero point six seven zero nine, right? So it's roughly there, right? So yeah, this is how we basically uh, calculate uh, MCD. Okay, so that's that's how the software basically calculates it. So knowing how the calculation works out will be very helpful. So this is how we calculate this in Excel, Google Sheets, wherever you wanna do it. I hope you enjoyed the video and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, bye bye. Take care.